What's up guys, Johnny here back with a brand new Hive Mind guide for Shadowgun Legends. Hive Mind changed a little bit after update 075. So here's my brand new guide. Out of the ship you have two switches, one to the left and one to the right. So the team will split and go activate these two switches to give you access to the next area. The switch on the right you have to open something, then uh, shoot the little wall. That's uh, hiding the switch on the right. So once the two switches are activated, you have access to this area. And when you walk in, you will trigger, I like to call it a flashback. I don't know if it's really a flashback. Maybe it's more a, a vision of the future or something. The, the boss is trying to talk to you or scare you. It's trash talk, classic trash talk. But after the little vision, you have uh, two switches to hack, one left, one right. And when you're done hacking, you will be in the first big fight of the dungeon. And this is one of the part that just got really harder at 075 because of the red blinkers. So you will have to destroy one data hive, the big ball in the middle, but it's protected. You have to kill three clusters, one left, one right, and one in the back, the blue ones the hive the shield clusters so kill the three clusters and when you're done uh, the big ball in the middle it will change color it's black now so you can shoot it the data hive is exposed so the difference between the new version and the older version is the red blinkers are very dangerous you you have to move much more than you had to In the previous version you could just stand there and shoot but now you have to move while shooting so when you're done, you go to this door and you will have another big fight. So priority targets is probably the Void Caller on the top. You have to kill this guy ASAP. And then the Crusher next to the, the shield there. So kill the Crusher and the Void Caller. And then pick up the rest of the trash. It's not that hard this part, but if you don't kill the big uh, dangerous units, you might have a tough time. You can use an AM bomb here also. By the way, the setup for this dungeon, usually all three uh, squad mates use a uh, supercharger and AM bomb. It's the best uh, skills in the game right now. Very useful. So after this fight, pick up the ammo on the ground and you finally uh, are able to go there. Switch one left, one right um, to, to open the way but don't start shooting the clusters yet you have to open everything first so go through that corridor and check the left here there's a switch it will open the way and then you can access the next switch on the left it will give you access to uh, it will clear the window there you can kill the, the unit the power unit power unit will open the jump pad but first you have the first hidden treasure of the dungeon. There are three hidden treasure there. This is the first one. Now you can go and start uh, making your way to the next data hive. There's a switch there and there's a switch there. This switch will open your way back for when you're done with the next fight. And the first switch, you see the way there. First switch will open the, the red uh, field there energy field so one cluster left one cluster right and one cluster in the middle here's a tough part guys because of the red blinker so it's a good place to use supercharger and am bomb am bomb should clear a bunch of blinkers and supercharger will help you clear the data hive or uh, expose the data hive faster because you don't want to be here too long it's a uh, it's a very tough spot it's small but Aeon Bomb really helped. Teamwork, of course. Now you're back. Uh, there's a door there. It will open the ventilation duct area. So use that switch there. And then you can keep going. Ventilation ducts open. There you go. So make your way there. You have to kill the little blue wall. And then you have to go to this through this door. <laughs> But it's buggy, uh, it's not a game bug, it's not a feature, it's just it's just there. It opens and closes like that. So when you make your way to the corridor, it will activate your second 
encounter with the boss is just uh, trash talking again. Not really gonna do anything. He's a big talker. Now's a tricky part. All three teammates will spawn in different spots. You have to make your way to the middle. There will be three cluster. One in the open, one behind the little gray door, and one in that little room there. So all three guys have to take their own cluster. This is tricky. Usually you take the cluster that's the closest to you, and then you go help your teammates if they're not done. You have to make it pretty quick because it's a tough part. Again, the blinkers, they can kill you very quick. So when you're done with the three clusters, you got to kill the data hive again. I think this is the third one uh, in the game. When you're done with the data hive, you will get through this door and there's another big fight. So again, priority target. There is a void caller here on the right. Uh, there will be a hell storm in the back and on your left, there's a crusher. So there's a couple different ways you can you can do this if you just stick together and focus fire on the on the main target and when you're done with the hellstorm uh it's gonna be killing the trash there's a lot of trash mobs some spiders some uh, dreads a couple blades you see the switch here on my left so when you're done with the big fight you'll be going for that switch So we're done with the big fight clearing the trash click that switch because it will activate the gravity lift on the left but before we go there guys here's our second hidden treasure in the dungeon uh, all the way back uh, in the room so there's another one that's two out of three and now you can make your way to the right now it's open and there's the gravity lift When you're up there's a door you have to kill the power unit and there will be two clusters this time one right here on the left focus fire you want to get that quick and then all the way in the back there's a force field you have to hit that switch over there open the way and there's the second cluster Now here's a good spot for AM bomb supercharger again if you're in trouble you want to clear that fast. And there you go. The last data hive here. And when you're done, you will have access to another area. All right, so when you enter this area, you have a console here on the left. And upstairs you have a couple switches on the right, not that door, but these two switches here. So grab the left one. It will enable the robot arm. Now you can go to the console and hack the console. When you're done breaching, the robot arm will go and uh, automatically activate the time travel device now you have to travel to the past you'll go in the labs in the past you have a couple things to do but this is the easy part just before the boss fight but once you uh, spawn here you have to go through the elevator and you'll go down it's a funny part of the dungeon when you when you play a lot with the same guys it's always the race to the elevator, trying to lock your friends out. But once you're down there, there's no danger. You have to go to that console. There's no enemies there, it's just you have to do something. You have to click that. It will uh, open the door on your right. And then you have to destroy four. We call them TVs, but time travel research. TVs are all at the same place. One, two, it's not TVs, but we call it Destroy the TVs. There you go, four. And then there's nothing to do, you just wait. There's a timer. Uh, objective updated, 10 seconds, and you'll be teleported. And get ready for the boss fight because it's gonna happen, guys. Once you're done, 
you go there up the stairs and through the the door but before you go left to the boss look at your right there's the last hidden treasure so if you're too hyped to go to the boss fight you'll miss that one that's the last one three hidden treasures in the dungeon and here's the door to the boss fight now there's a pattern here there are uh hive data hive the black one you saw on my right and there's two jump pads okay one to the right and one to the left so at least one guy has to go here on the right side because there's a data hive there hidden you have to have one guy there that will be responsible of that one and then there was one in the middle and then on the left side there are two one here between the two uh, blue things and one in all the way to the back so the pattern with the boss is you have to destroy all four data hives and it will remove the shield from the bottom part of the boss but a good thing to do is get rid of the blinkers first and then destroy the data hives so once the boss loses shield all three players can focus on dealing damage so here you go supercharge everyone and use your secondary everyone if everyone has supercharge and lots of ammo you can destroy the bottom part in one go so once you're done with the bottom part now you can shoot the legs and once you're done with the legs the top part will be uh, unshielded and then you can kill the top part so a couple tips guys for the boss fight okay you need at least one guy on the left and one guy on the right because some data highs are hidden on the far right and far left so since you need at least one guy on each side the third guy if you're the third guy please do not go in the middle never go in the middle because there's no reason to be there and since you need at least one guy left one guy right uh, if you're in the middle and you die someone has to leave this pot to go revive you so if you're at least on the left or on the right with one of the other guys at least if you die he's gonna be able to revive you you know and same thing for your teammates if someone dies at least if you're on one of the two sides you can revive your teammate but the thing is the best strategy is you should put your best player on the right and the other two guys on the left uh, I think the guy on the right can manage to survive uh, if he's got any experience it's, it's unlucky if you die on the right uh, so yeah and the other two guys on the left so they can help each other they can revive each other I think it's the best strategy uh, and then use your supercharger when it's available just to kill the boss faster uh, one more thing there's a lot of uh, the red blinkers they are your priority kill the blinkers before you deal damage to the boss and the elites the health storm and the void color you can pretty much ignore just leave them there they cannot kill you unless you're unlucky and you hit something in the environment but that's pretty much it guys and once you're done go collect your uh your loot box there's a lot of legendaries now it's raining legendary since 075 update so that will be it if you have any questions uh post in the comment hope you guys enjoyed the guide if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel for more shadowgun legends news gameplay and guides i will be back soon until then watch my other videos take care